Hi, welcome back. So in this video today, I'm going to show you how to model a building using Building Generator. So before starting, you will need to download the plugin Building Generator from ScriptSpot. So as you can see here, um, you can pop it in here and the download link is just here. So once you download that to your computer, you'll be able to follow along um, the steps I'm about to show you. So opening up a new 3ds Max file, you'll need to go over here to the little tool and select Max Script. Once that's selected, you'll then select Run Script and this dialog box will pop up. You'll need to select the file where your building generator has saved. So mine's just in downloads for now. So if we select Building Gen and open. Now that will open up this dialog box straight away. So position this so we can see it all. Now you'll have all these different types of tools. So we're going to go through a few different things so that we can um, model basic to more detailed with walls and doors. So first of all, we'll start off with just a floor one. So selecting the floors, um, this is the generator that's going to be generated and then the bevel controls. So let's say we just want a square building. We'll go through and we'll untick these, so B for bevel. And that is showing you that the front, right, back, left is all going to be a square straight line along the edges. Now, up here, you'll want to adjust heights and things like that depending on what you're desired for your building. Mine are all set up here already, so the wall length is 40 and the wall height is 30. And then the surface settings. Now, we can adjust the number of floors. So let's say we'll do 10 floors. And then if we go down here to generate, it just takes a few moments sometimes, so you have to be patient with it. And there you go. Your basic floor building has been created. And that's just created from floors because that's what we've selected in here. Nothing else is turned on. So that's what we've got there. And that's how you can simply do that building with a little bit more detail um, than just using parameters and boxes. What we can also do, so if I just move that out of the way, so we can also do one with walls. So adding another one, adding in walls. So we can go here to windows. So we want window covers, so select that. And then all these other settings will stay the same. This will generate a new building. So you can change the number of floors. Let's say this one's 15 floors high. Um, and then the rest will stay the same unless you want to change anything. You can change the wall height, things like that if you want to. But again, that's up to you depending on what you're after. But uh, for me, I'm just going to change the floor heights. Again, then we'll scroll down here to generate. Give it a few moments. This, these will take a bit longer as well because obviously you're doing, you know, you're adding walls and floors and you're adding more things to it. So obviously generating it will take a bit longer because it's more, more in there to generate. Okay, there we go. So maybe for the next one we'll do less floors, so we don't have to wait as long for that one. So as you can see, this one's showing a bit more detail in it. You can see the window coverings. It's obviously 15 stories rather than 11, but you can see the detail coming out in there for the window coverings. And obviously if you do choose to render and things like that, that will apply the further detail to that. So that's another one there. So if we move that along here, We'll do one with doors. So we'll do a couple so we can see how it can be manipulated and what you can do. So if we scroll back up here. So leaving all the previous settings, so the floors from near the windows, it will just be building on to what's already originally there. So we go to doors, we go to door down here, select the door. Again, cover, and you can also you know, change parameters and things down here if you wish to. We're gonna, I'm gonna adjust this down to maybe a lower amount of floors, just so it doesn't take too long to model up. So let's go eight floors rather than the 15. And we can see the heights difference there. 
and then again you can play around with lengths and widths but I'm going to keep these all consistent in that way scroll down to the bottom generate okay there we go so again we select that one we have to see a bit more detail in there Now, let's say we want to edit it. So if we select this one, go back to floors. What we can do is play around with the floor controls to the bevel. So you can have, you know, corner like that. So we can pop the, you know, side of it like that. So you can sort of play around and see what there is to do with it. So let's see what looks interesting. We could do something like that with an odd sort of odd looking shape like that so we can give that a go see how it models try a few different things so i'll take that one move it along and again i'm just going to change the falls down just so it's not taking so long to model leave all the rest the same i'm happy with that but it's like you can add blinds that would take that in frames so we can maybe add frames in Untick blind so it's not taking too long to model anything. Um, yep, that will do. So let's scroll down here, generate. Okay, there we are. So then, as you can see, that one has applied the difference bevel we've added to that one. Or the, in, the invert of the columns, I should say. And as you can see, you've got the detail of that on there of the roof, the windows. So I'm going to do one more. I'm going to play around with a randomized one. So there is an option for randomized. Now, depending on what you're wanting, randomized can go one of two ways. So we can see what it generates. So we scroll up and let's maybe pop these inverts in as well. So here we've got the surface settings because that's the one we're doing it from the surface obviously we can go randomize now leaving everything how it is this may take a little while to model because everything is ticked whereas before i was modifying it down just to show the purpose of what can be generated but this is going to model everything now to see what it can come up as let's go to generate and see what it generates There we go as you can see it's plots those ones in there it's a bit different to the others again you've got the shades as well as the window so you've got a bit more detail when selecting in there again after you render this obviously you'll be able to make it out a lot clearer on what is what so if i just close this one basically that's it so with building generator obviously there are so many things you can do with it um, in terms of altering the building shape itself and what you include but that gives you a bit of an idea of what you can do and how you can model a building itself in a little bit more detail altering obviously the floors windows roof everything like that but that's sort of a basic rundown on the standard stuff and what you can do with it hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next video thanks bye